Today, also in North Minneapolis, a group marched through the city calling for an end for, to violence. We want to have a prayer here on this corner for us. Is that all right? Amen. Marchers stopped to pray at intersections along the route where people were recently killed. WCCO's Mariel Mose walked with them and shares their message of peace. When gunfire was exchanged, a march with a message that's felt from gathering in front of Estes Funeral Home. Estes, uh, Washburn, McCreevy, and Brooks Funeral Home in St. Paul get as many of our black and brown bodies as the prison system gets. Lisa Clemens is the director of A Mother's Love Initiative. He is one of the main reasons that we need to do this march. Clemens felt compelled to gather this Sunday afternoon for seven-year-old Blaze. It's only been five days since he and his dad were shot in a drive-by shooting outside a supermarket in North Minneapolis. His dad was not struck, but Blaze was shot in the foot. Luckily, he's okay, though, but I know that was, you know, it was scary for both of us. So. His dad, Steele Volter, says the trauma of the shooting has lasting damage on his son, especially from the fireworks over the weekend. He was, he was kind of jumping at every sound. You know? They marched for Blaze, but also for all victims of gun violence in the Twin Cities. The names and pictures of many on the signs they carried. Marchers of all ages taking a stance. We need to stop. This is going too far. But one thing Clemens wants to make clear, despite all the recent violence, she does not think the Minneapolis Police Department should be abolished. Instead, she wants to see collaboration with community and law enforcement. If you just listen to the city council, you would think that we're all at odds with the police. That's just not true. And that in order for us to uh, change, make change, we have to work together as a people. Whether it be with the police, whether it be with Black Lives Matter. In North Minneapolis, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News.